Hey YouTube, Alisa here, and today I'll be showing you a Cuban night anole, and as well as telling you a little bit about anoles in South Florida in general. Which ones are native, which ones are not native, and so on. Stay tuned, hope you enjoy. We do have species such as the green anole, uh, much smaller, but totally native. Uh, the brown anoles, which if you are from Florida, you would probably see every day in your backyard, are actually also not native. Um, fun fact about the green anoles is that due to the brown anoles being more aggressive, coming in, being introduced, taking over all of the floor life, um, you know, the floor area of South Florida, the green anoles actually over time developed larger feet and developed more of the toe pads that you see in geckos and things like that to help grip. Um, the rest of anoles, for the most part, have little claws. So here we have the Cuban night anole. He's uh, not super happy, but not quite trying to bite me quite yet. But this is how they normally look, and they're bright, bright green. Uh, they also turn a brownish color using chromatophores, similar to chameleons. Uh, but they are not, in fact, actually um, related to chameleons. They are more closely related to the iguana family. Uh, but they can change colors due to the chromatophores in their skin, just like chameleons can. See how dark he's getting now? That's so you can see the difference between their darker brown shades and their greens. Uh, or bright greens. They do not change colors according to their habitat like a lot of people think chameleons do. Uh, that is false um, and these guys do the same thing. They change colors according to their current mood or emotion. If they're scared, if they're being aggressive, if they're just chilled out, they might change into um, the darker or brighter colors depending great coloration, still pretty young, uh, not quite full grown. They can get up to about 12 inches on average. Uh, they probably can get a little bit bigger than that. Uh, but here you can see these little sticky toes that I was talking about. They can use those to, of course, grasp things um, and go ahead, like branches, and go ahead and, you know, stick to walls and such. But more than anything else, they use those claws. And uh, this guy's uh, hanging out pretty well now. I'm not even really holding him tight. Uh, he's gotten a little bit used to me holding him since I found him yesterday on my mailbox, of all things. But uh, that shouldn't come as too much of a surprise for any of the rest of you who live here in South Florida as well. Um, we tend to find these guys in our backyards quite a lot. Uh, you see this down here is extremely large dewlap. This is something that the males use to try and uh, ward off other males, uh, try to show themselves as being puffed up bigger. Uh, this dewlap is also shown to the females to try and, you know, mate. Basically for flirting or fighting, essentially. They actually have a kind of sticky tongue, similar to chameleons. Um, not doing that again because they do have really good teeth. Oh, yep, yeah. and uh, they can take a really good chunk out of you. Uh, I'm not gonna go ahead and get bit today. Uh, thankfully, I didn't get bit in catching this guy in the first place. But they have a pretty, pretty mean bite. They're pretty aggressive species, and these guys not gonna take a finger off but they will definitely leave a mark. So there you have it, that is a Cuban nitinol native to Cuba and invasive um, mildly invasive, nothing too crazy uh, they just can potentially steal food from some of our more native species um, but overall they're just a non-native 
that's here in South Florida, like so many other animals that we have. So that's our show for today. Please remember that my goal is to educate and advocate. So if there's anything that I forgot to mention and you want to add to this, uh, or if they have any comments or questions about anything else you wanted to know about the anoles or new topics that you might want to know about from down here in South Florida, please go ahead and write those in the comments section below and I will try to get to those as soon as possible. Uh, thank you again for watching and if you liked what we did here today, please go ahead and hit subscribe as well as we will continue to be making videos like this as long as you guys keep wanting to watch them. So thank you again. Hope you have a great one.